you are here to experience Mount Vernon Township High School's 78th Annual Operetta, Beauty and the Beast, under the direction of Mary Beth Mazzo. As a courtesy to the performers and audience members, we ask that you silence and power off your cell phones now and throughout the performance. Flash photography is prohibited. We kindly ask that you chaperone your child to the lobby area if they become a disruption. In addition, please ensure all souvenir roses are off for the performance. During intermission, there will be a limited number of souvenir roses, as well as chilled water bottles and candy for purchase to help support the music department. Please, discard candy wrappers and consume any food before entering the theater, as bottled water is the only consumable allowed inside the theater. And now, conducting his 31st musical, a Mount Vernon senior saint, he's suave, he's debonair, he truly could be Mr. USA, Mr. Roland D. May!
even be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast?
use their imagination. Well, it's about time you got your head out of these books and paid attention to more important things. Hint, <laughs> hint. Like you? Exactly! The whole town's talking about it. It's not right for a woman to read. Soon she starts getting ideas and thinking. Gaston, you are positively primeval. Why, thank you, Val. What do you say you and me take a walk over to the tavern and take a look at my trophies? What do you say we don't? <laughs> Come on, Val. I think I know how you feel about me. You can't even imagine. Gaston, please. I have to get inside to help my father. <laughs> that crazy old fool. <laughs> he needs all the help he can get. <laughs> Thank you. 
got to get him out of here before the master finds out. This is incredible. How is this accomplished? Really, sir, if you just... <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stop it, I say! Well, I'm stumped. Maybe it's some kind of newfangled scientific gadget. I, sir, am not a gadget. I don't mean to be rude. I beg your pardon. It's just that I've never seen a ta uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Bless you. You are due to say, oh, monsieur, come oh, warm yourself by the fire. No, I forbid it. Lumiere, as head of this household, I demand that you stop right there. Real man. <laughs> no offense, Lumiere. Bonjour, monsieur. Mind if I sit here? Oh, well, uh, hello. All right, this has gone on long enough. I'm in charge here, and I demand this. How do you like a nice pot of tea, sir? It will warm you up in no time. Oh, uh, yes, please. No, no tea. He'll be here all night. No tea. Just what I need. Oh! Oh, I'm scared, him, Mama. Hey, hey, hey there, little fella. What's your name? Oh, Figures. Care for a blanket, monsieur? I just love older men. Oh, Babette, you are always trying to make me jealous. Well, it is not going to work this time. Me? What about you with Simon? Jean? Michel? Anthony? Raquel? The master will never have to know. Oh! As I was saying, he is bound to find out sooner or later. Should we hide, Mama? No, no. Remain calm. There is absolutely no reason to panic. To be a right. There is absolutely no reason to panic. May I borrow this? There is a stranger here. Master, allow me to explain. The gentleman was set upon by wolves. Who let him in? Master, may I just take this opportunity to explain the time
surprises for you, mademoiselle. A miniature portrait of you. <laughs> you should have. Don't mention it. You know, Belle, there isn't a girl in town who wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Today is the day all your dreams come true. Well, what could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? Plenty! <laughs>
Asgard. This? In the woods? Pretty nice, huh? This belongs to my father. Yeah, well, find your keepers. LeFou, I want you to think very hard and tell me exactly where you found this. No! Think! I did it uh, somewhere in the woods. The harm? I did it near the crossroads. Okay, now! Then he's still out there somewhere. LeFou, you have to take me back. <laughs> Not the woods again. But don't you see? Something must have happened. You have to take me back. Not on your life! Then I'll find him myself. A vanity, little drawers, mirrors, the works, and poor Jean Claude. Who? Jean Claude, you remember him. Not too bright, dumb as a. A brick! Zero wall. <laughs> Jean Claude's a brick wall? That's him in the kitchen, behind the stove. <laughs> and you know Guillaume, the houseboy? That mealy mouthed little bootlicker! I've never liked him. He's always crawling at the master's feet. He's a dormant. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it is happening faster with some of the others, but we are not far behind. Slowly but surely as every day passes, we will all gradually become things. But why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business? It's not like we threw that poor old beggar woman out on her ear. No, but are we not responsible too for making him the way he is? I suppose so. All I know is, I will one day melt away to Nassau. I only hope that there is something left of me if the master ever breaks this bed. Hold on, old man. Got to hold on. Hello. Is anyone here? Hello? It's a girl! Well, of course I can see it's a girl. It's a girl! Mademoiselle! Lumiere, it's me too long for talking! Shall we? I stay in the house all night to do most of the talking! <laughs> oh, well, just the word that's all I'm asking, Mom! Mom, you're not going to believe what I just saw. Not in a million thousand years. Not in a trillion million thousand years. Yes, dear. No! Really? This is the greatest thing. The thing that everybody's been waiting for since... Since... Since I don't know it. All right, kid. What is it? There is a girl in the castle. Bless my soul. Wouldn't that be lovely? But there is. I saw her. Now, kid, I'll not have you making up wild stories, getting everyone's hopes up for no reason. Miss Potts, did you hear? There is a girl in the castle. See? I told you. And she's real pretty, too. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> this is the one, the girl we have waited for. She has come to break the spell. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not be hasty. Isn't it wonderful? After all these years, oh, happy, happy day. Stop it, stop that. We should tell the others, no? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, wait a minute. Who's done this to you? 
you. There's no time to explain. You must go. Now! I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Then you're the one that's responsible for this. Release my father at once! Oh, I am the master of this castle, and I do not say orders.
thought you might like some tea. Come in. Nothing like a nice warm cup of tea to make the world seem a bit brighter. But you're, you're Miss Potstia. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. Careful, darling. Who are you? Madame de la Gourouche. Perhaps you heard me. Sorry. You see, they have forgotten all about me. One can be an icon. Yeah. The trust of Europe, the pride they start to ever grace the stage. But fall under one limit. Shh. Wait, this is impossible. I know it is, but here we are. Well, now, what shall we dress you in for dinner? This is a nice, but how would you like to borrow one of my gowns? Let's see what I put my drawers. 10, 15 seconds. Okay. Oh, not those. <laughs>
So Is dinner ready, Mrs. Potts? Just about. I have the foggiest idea of what she likes to eat, so I've cooked up everything in the kitchen. Good, good. <laughs> well, don't just stand there gaping. Get back to work. You know. <laughs> I can't. Tell me what? Now, don't get upset. But you've got something on your back. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, ah! What is that? It appears to be a winding handle of sorts. Well, uh, get it off me! I think it's got to be It won't come off! What do you mean it won't come off? It wasn't there when I went to bed last night. Where did it come from? Why is this happening to me? It's the spell, I'm afraid. Just try to relax. Relax, relax. How am I supposed to relax when this appendage on my back? Is there no dignity left for me? And what's going to go next? My mind? Calm down. It will be all right. I'm frightened, Lumiere. I know, my friend. But you are not alone. We are all in this together. It is time for dinner. Where is she? Perhaps I should see about her. Won't be a minute. I told her to come down. What is taking so long? Try to be patient, sir. The girl has lost her father and freedom. <coughs> one day. Master, have you thought that perhaps this girl could be the one who breaks his spell? Of course I have. I am not a fool. Good, so you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof, the spell is broken. We will be human again by midnight. Lumiere, it's not that easy. These things take time. But we do not have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. Oh, it is no use. She is so beautiful and I'm... Well, look at me. He has a point. <laughs> Master, you must help her to see Pascal. That I don't know how. Well, you can start by trying to make yourself more presentable. Straighten up. Try to act like a gentleman. Impress her with your regular wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And yeah, above all, what? You must control your temper. <sighs> well, what? Where is she? Oh, oh yes, the girl. Actually, she's in the process of, uh, <laughs> circumstances being what they are, and, uh, she's not coming. What did you say? She's not coming! We will see about that! Your Lordship, your eminence, your grace, let's not be hasty! Stay where you are! Lumiere, stand aside! I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry! I am the master of this castle, and I am telling you to come down to dinner. And I'm telling you I'm not hungry. You are hungry if I say you are hungry. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. What did you say? You can't go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can do it. It's rude. Oh, rude it is. Then how about this? If you do not come down to dinner, I will stay. That may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. Please attempt to be a gentleman. But why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? But why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner. So, you admit you're being a bully. Deep breath, Master. Deep breath. 
I will give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner?
She is not a prisoner. She is our guest. We must find a way to make her feel welcome here. All right, dinner. But keep it down. If the master finds out, it will be our necks. Of course, of course, but what is dinner without a little music? Music! Be our guest, be our guest, put us 
anything about the castle being enchanted. It was you, wasn't it? <laughs> I figured it out for myself. I'd like to look around if that's all right. Perhaps you would like a tour. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not sure if that's such a good idea. We can't have you know who poking around you know where, if you know what I mean. Perhaps you would like to take me. I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Well, actually, I do. <laughs> May I draw your attention to our hand-painted ceilings, complete with cherubs, frolicking in delight amidst the nymphs and centaurs. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. Oh, this will be good. Oh, Belle? Belle? And if you'll note the unusual inverted archways, you will see that this is yet another example of the late neoclassic Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it! <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, disaster was averted. And that was the last time a stone of that size was quarried in this area. What's up there? Nothing! Nothing at all of any interest in the West Wing. So that's the West Wing. Nice going. I wonder what he's hiding up there. Hiding? What an idea! Hiding! Well, then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Oh, uh, perhaps. Mademoiselle would like to see something else of interest. We have exquisite tapestries dating all the way back to ambitious the pretentious. And maybe later. Perhaps you would like to see the gardens or, or the library. You have a library? With books. Oh, yes. Stacks of books. Mountains of books. Cascades. Cloudbursts. Forests of books. Swamps of books. Books with pictures. Books with words. More words than you could ever read in a lifetime. Books written by every author who
would not have happened. If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you should not have been in the last week. And you should learn to control your temper. Now hold still. This may sting a little. By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Well, that's more like it. I knew they could get along if they tried. So the ice is broken. At last. And not a moment too soon either. Have you taken a good look at the rose lately? It is losing petals at an alarming rate. Not to mention the fact that I can hardly bend over its wall anymore. Clearly, it is time for us to give them a little push. We must find a nice romantic way to draw them closer together. I have just the thing. How about we warm you two up a bit with a nice bowl of soup? Soup? Trust me. <laughs> Only a little bad. 
that was long ago. Well, it just so happens that this is the perfect book to read aloud. Come here, sit by me.
thank you for asking me to dinner. Dinner was wonderful. Belle, I... Yes? Are you happy here? Oh, yes. Everyone is so kind. Mrs. Pons, Maria... With me? Yes. I must speak from the... The heart! Is there something wrong? I was just thinking about my father again. I miss him so much. I wish that I could see him again. There is a way. This mirror will show you anything. Anything you wish to see. I'd like to see my father, please. No one happened. The last thing I remember, I 
you see no work. Good afternoon. What's all dark? I've come to collect your blood. What? Oh, don't worry. We will take good care of you. My father is not crazy. He was raving like a lunatic. We all hurt him, didn't we? Certainly. All right. Come along quietly now. You can't do this. Tell us again, old man. Just how big was that beast? Well, he was enormous. He was at least eight. No, more like ten feet tall. <laughs> you don't get much crazier than that. Right, don't you? Right, don't you? Me. Maurice, when did you first start having all of these delusions? It's not a delusion. The beast is real. And so is the talking clock. Poor <laughs> Val. It's a shame about your father. Yes, son, you know he's not crazy. I might be able to clear up this little misunderstanding if... If what? If you will marry me. What? One little word, Belle. That's all it takes. Never. <laughs> Say you had feelings for this. Mm -hmm.